Howdy, Capricorn. Sorry, I had to take a swig. What's up? It's your girl, Dharma Jane. Dharma Jane, where you been? I know, right? It's called Mercury in Retrograde. Grade kicked my ass. I cried. I slept. I forgot things. I lost things. I got a ticket. My cell phone busted. You know, you know what I got to say about that illusionary little twit of a planet? You got your retrograde right here. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm sorry for being late. Um, my own life beat me this week. So Capricorns, in love for the end of April into May. It's going to be a love spread, a he, shed, a he said, she said, a left and a right, a he and a she, a yin and a yang. Um, and this just came out. Patience. So we're waiting and waiting and waiting. I will tell you that while I was shuffling, um, the lover's card came out. And the Two of Cups came out, and the Wheel of Fortune came out, but that was just while I was, like, pulling in your energy and getting the cards ready. So if they come back up, they're supposed to, but I feel like I should mention it. So without further ado, calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good that has a message to come forward for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and hello, Cross Watchers. Um... Spirit, what is the... Okay. Woo-wee! Love messages. So, Capricorns are either just entering a brand new love, or like in the beginning stages, or either way, there is some hot and heavy conversation going on. This is the Eight of Wands, so it does talk about, you know, loving conversation. Um, oh my god, I just dropped all my cards. Hi. Okay. What did I drop here? I kind of want to take these. There's that Wheel of Fortune again I was just talking about. So there's an air sign involved, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And it's almost like she or he came in as this like karmic thing that is bringing healing to you. And there's like either they empower you like make you feel really good. Like what, what, why was I even in a place of, um, you know, stagnation in the first place? Um, but I do really, I do really feel empowered here. Um, just a I'm just going to keep these because I just like, plopped out and I don't normally keep a bunch of extras but and I think this kind of goes with this because it's like this person like swooped into your life kind of like out of nowhere it was like it may be a chance meeting or a chance get together and um and so now there's all this talk and it, it makes you feel really really special <laughs> What does the feminine, who are they? Who is the feminine in this? Page of Cups. So it could be a water sign, could be somebody that's a little bit immature, but it also could be someone, <coughs> and I've never actually said this before, but I do feel like it could be somebody who doesn't really know how to receive love. And so there they are in this place of, um, Uh, I don't believe you. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep on and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you with your love talk. I hear you with your drama. I don't believe you. 
You know why? Because I am a broken person because of such and such and such and such. And here is this person just empowering the shit out of you. And you're like, I don't know what to do with this. I just, I just don't, but okay. <laughs> but okay. That's important. Where's the male? Or the masculine or the yank gang or the what is the deal? I can't hold on to my cards. Oh my god. I got all giddy all of a sudden. Okay. Oh my god. Work with me, not against me, please. Thank you. Where's the male energy? Thank you. That was actually in reverse, so I'm going to keep it in reverse. That's the Eight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's working hard. This is somebody who's waiting to harvest, like um, um, like waiting on a payout, maybe waiting on an inheritance. But this is talking about reaping. So when you have it upright, you have then reaped. Um, but if it's in reverse, the, you're, you're still in the waiting spot, which is fine. But what this shows, I mean, if anything, is that they're a hard worker. What is the uh, yin? What does the feminine want? Queen of fire. They want somebody that's hot. Ow! I mean, right? But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm being silly. But that's, I mean, it's like the passion has been gone for so long that having that, and I also feel like this feminine, because they don't really know how to deal with love coming at them, that they, it is then interpreted through sex. Like if, if you, if you, if we have really good sex, then you must really love me. Um, which is, I mean, that's a red flag to, to help. And if, if you're the one that's empowering this feminine and that's how they feel, then you need to tread, tread on that softly. Meaning that if they've been broken and hurt because they get used, you need to make sure that you don't then exhume those same um, qualities. Masculine, again, could be an air sign. But they want somebody that is logical. You know, that's the queen of air, very logical. But I think more importantly is that I feel like I want to say cut the shit. Like they don't want someone who, this is all air energy. So this might be an air sign over here. And so they're thinking like logically, like that's how they're interpreting everything because they're, you know, an air sign and that's how we roll. But they need someone who can match them on that intellectual level. So they need this, this queen to be, and I don't mean smart as in educated. I mean smart as in like makes good choices. As in like does things based on logic rather than impulse or um, overindulgence. Like they don't want someone that's going to just sit around and wait and think on an idea. They need someone who knows what they want. And I also feel like, and this might be like why they're reaping or waiting to reap the harvest because they're with someone who's the four swords in reverse. That's like being in your head. And I, I think that, I mean, it's not that they don't want that. I just kind of feel like there's a little bit of an impatience uh, factor happening with that. Um, what are the blocks for the feminine, please? The tower. Why is that a block? Oh, <laughs> I just inhaled sage. Why is this a block? So something needs to something needs to happen. I think something needs to happen that's tangible for this person to believe that this is truth. There's trust issues over here, big time. What is the blocks for the masculine? The 
permit. See? See, that's exactly what I was talking about. It's a block for them to be with someone who doesn't know what they want because they're in their head or they're in this place of meditation or in this place of like being closed off. Um, so they're going to need this masculine really needs this feminine to open up because I honestly feel like it makes them nervous. Like it, it makes them feel like they're never going to get to reap the harvest of this relationship because this person is so closed off. So, but this feels really genuine to me. I don't see any sneaky cards. I don't see any tool cards. I don't see any like third party cards. I don't see any of that. I see like a genuine dude and a, and a, and a, and a hurt female. Um, and so it's going to be a lot of work for the masculine then to, to help heal this person. But I kind of feel like they're already doing that gladly, like happily. It's just for this tower here to be the block. I mean, you're just going to, this feminine is just going to have to, like, I don't necessarily know that you're going to be able to see something tangible because love isn't tangible. That would be sex. That's tangible. That would be money. That's tangible. Love is an energy. You're not going to see it. You have to decide that you see it. What can we get for an outcome? Woohoo! I told you it was a Libra. <laughs> Could be a Libra. Um, justice and temptation. So there's, so, okay. It could either be a Libra or we could be, we could be reading it like this. So here's your Libra over here. And then here is the end here with the devil and the, oh, that's a Libra and a Capricorn. Holy shit. The devil card is Capricorn. Justice is Libra. Well, 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 I actually know somebody who's a Libra and Capricorn couple. It's like magic. Okay, so this could be the feminine overindulging in um, drugs or alcohol or sex or something. And this is the Libra of the relationship bringing the balance there. If there is overindulging issues on this side, I feel like this Libra or this uh, masculine air type energy is going to, um, you know, balance. I keep wanting to talk about balance. Um, why is the eight of fire? Yeah, the moon in reverse. This is what I'm talking about. This person doesn't want to believe anything because they have been lied to before. They don't know whether or not to believe that. Why would they believe that? Yeah, because they're not even trying to be left out in the cold again. I feel like that's not news. They've, they've been there. They've done that. They've been ran over. And now they're looking for, here's the Queen of Wands again. Like a very sexy, like tangible um, relationship. But then you've got, you do have the three of cups over here. So this could be an old, you know, in one scenario, this is an old relationship where they don't trust the male anymore because they had cheated in the past. In another scenario, this could be this, this masculine trying really hard to celebrate this relationship, but they can't because they're not harvesting anything because they can't get this feminine over here to, to like believe them. And so, I mean, they kind of feel trapped in it, but kind of not. I think they kind of like it. I think this masculine kind of likes a little bit of a challenge. And this feminine is kind of tired of having to defend all of her pentacles. It's like every time she lets somebody in, they take half her pentacles. Here's the 10 of pentacles. Here's the five of pentacles. And so it's like, yeah, I hear all this stuff that you're saying and you're being all sweet and everything that I want to hear, but give me two months when you take half my shit. Just nope. And this <laughs> masculine over here is like, I'm not going to do you that way. I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop this ball. You see, that's the one who drops the ball. That's the one who does not. I'm not going to hurt you, or at least it's not my intention to hurt you. I'm not going to leave you. 
And they're like, I don't believe you. I mean, this isn't funny, but it's very like back and forth. It almost like it gets to a point where it's banter. Oh, you're going to leave me. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to leave me. No, you're not. But then like later on down the road, it does happen because that's what you end up manifesting. So if this is a cute little game that you're playing here, uh, stop because you will manifest what you think. So you, so this feminine over here needs to get on board. If this is resonating for you and you have this like air type man who is saying sweet things to you and like really trying, like you can see them actually trying to be there for you and help you and like, and, and to be an empowering person to you, let them stop pushing everybody away. Yeah, so this, this feminine over here is terrified to get what they want. Terrified. Because what happens when I get everything that I want and then I lose it? And I just got chills really bad. So that's usually um, spirit giving me uh, the green light that I've said something kind of important for a Capricorn. Why would I start a relationship and get everything that I want if I'm just going to lose it? You can tell me you're not going to leave me all day long. I don't believe you. I don't. And I mean, I, you know, I have, I've been hurt. I've been around people who have been hurt. It's a real feeling. This is not something that you can be like, oh, well, I'll just turn it off. <laughs> Screw my depression and anxiety. I'm just going to turn it off like a faucet. It doesn't work that way. That's why it's a block. It's something that has to be worked through. And I think that one of the ways it's going to be worked through is that this this very persistent air sign type energy. Air signs are loyal as hell. Like if they decide that they want to be with you, that's it. I mean, they just are. They will be loyal to you. And that's kind of just the way it is. Um, so the way that this block is going to be overcome is just by allowing this air sign to continuous, continually show you. And then eventually when you've had X amount of time watching them do the right thing, you're not going to have the opportunity anymore to, t to say you don't believe them because their track record with you will show that you can believe them. It's just that right now I think it's like a little new. And so you're not ready to uh, believe them yet. And uh, you don't have to. So if they're willing to, you know, if they know what they're getting into with you, then they just need to be patient. Holy shit. Right? Right? Um, so hermit on top of hermit. That's what I'm talking about. The block for the masculine over here is that they they need they need for their feminine to make the decision that they don't want to be alone. Because you got two hermit cards here. Okay, so this is an indication of someone who's like alone, a loner, taking a lot of time to be in, and this is their block. So it's essentially like dating a brick wall. Um, but we just went through the fact that that might be the way it is for a while. It's just this masculine needs some kind of like maybe a little thumbs up or like some kind of like, yeah, I know I'm screwed up, but my choice is you just maybe not a hundred percent yet. I just feel like they don't, they don't know. They don't know whether this female wants to be alone or not because they're not saying anything. So say something. Don't confuse your man. And um, as an outcome, why is this justice here? Let's do justice first. Oh, Queen of Cups, Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, because this is, uh, this is karmic. This is, this is some kind of karmic thing that is just because remember I told you when I was shuffling the wheel of fortune came out, came out again up here and it came out again right here. So this is some kind of karmic cycle that, uh, is meant to happen anyways. Um, and why is temptation here for the feminine? <sighs> oh God, poor sweet Kathy female, please let your guard down. You have somebody around you that wants to try to love you. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe let them, you know, maybe give them a, a chance. 
Because if your heart is so blocked off and you're standing around like this all the time, like you can't get near my feelings, then you're going to get, you're going to get people who are not near your feelings. I mean, doesn't that make sense? If you're going to push people away, that's where they're going to stay. Um, and it's, and I, 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 it's not your fault. So I'm talking about PS, PTSD and mental illness and, and past hurt and like trust issues. It's not like people wake up one day and they're like, you know what? I want to be a verbally abused, just basket case today. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I've had a perfect life my whole life and I'm just going to wake up today and just not trust anybody. I mean, right? It doesn't freaking work like that. People who end up in this situation were put here. I'm getting all upset for Capricorn. Woo! Bunch of tools and their cheating ass, lying ass, whatever. And this person, like, is like, I want to be like, they're a knight on shining armor, in shining armor, because they're willing to work with this energy. And this is rough energy to work with. It is. Because this is a broken person that needs healing. And that's why I keep talking about the Wheel of Fortune coming up. Because I feel like they, this is like a soul contract. Like they're supposed to do this for this person. And it's very, it's a very beautiful thing. Very, very sweet. And I'm getting chills again. So soul contract is probably uh, up there in the accuracy level. <clears throat> yeah, it's like they don't want to work on anything. But see, but then here's your air sign coming in. Boom. Bottom of the deck. Soulmates. I can't make this shit up. So can I please get... Um, 22 minutes. Okay. Can I please get future outcome for more like June? Please, for this situation. I said flip my deck. Flip my deck. Flip my deck. One more time. For June, for these lovers, what we got? The Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. So, okay. So closer to June, this uh, this feminine like kind of gets on board. Yeah, for the for the air sign. If this isn't an air sign, then this dude that you're with is like really logical and moves quickly and doesn't dick around and could see. Bam. <laughs> Here's a quick new start. There's a decision in love. Here's your, your pentacle, the fool, the devil. There's your Capricorn right in the middle. So I like this devil because look, like they are so into each other that it feels like the devil. Honey, if your man makes you feel like that, <laughs> Get it, girl. That's all I'm saying. See, coming together, making it, making the choice to allow someone to trust you with your world. That's a pretty profound message there. This is giving the news. G giving the news. Like, do you do you see me now? Queen of Swords, so there's your, um, this is either the feminine on this side, getting the clarity and like getting their shit together to where they'll, they'll be willing to allow this to come in, or this is that air sign again, like penetrating, I keep wanting to be like penetrating my thoughts and my space and my mind. And I actually feel like this air sign type person ends up like neener neener. I won the girl. I did it. I won her. <laughs> Cause it feels like a sneaky victory. Like nobody else could conquer this feminine energy, but he did. I love that. I've never felt that energy before reading that particular card. And Libras are like that. I mean I'm not saying for sure that it's a Libra, but we're like that. We we like to we like a challenge. Um, particularly in love, and it feels like a victory here because you got your 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 love messages and happy home. Oh my goodness! One final card, please. The cappies in love, late April. 
Oh my God. Soulmate. Bam. Soulmate. Bam. Happy home. Lovers. The new start. Hot, sexy, devil sex. Yeah. Yeah. What do the fairies have to say about all this naughtiness that I love so much? Oh my God. Passage to a new life. Cappy females, if you will let go of these blocks, you have the universe waiting to show you new love, new feelings, new new heart, new home. For the males, this female is the girl with your dreams. For those of you just tuning in, to my channel. I got these cards when I was like 13 and uh, I didn't know what they were so I just wrote all the info on them. The Dreamweaver. Loyalty. You see what I'm saying? They're just repeating at this point everything that I've been saying to you. This person is loyal. This is someone that can be trusted. But the road the road to be traveled with this feminine is not going to be easy because somebody or multiple somebodies, which could also include themselves, have done this, this poor sweet girl wrong. And I think it's important to mention that themselves, like they could have done it to themselves partially, like things started getting bad and so they took a left turn and let it get a thousand times worse. You know, we can't really judge people for what they do in heartache or um, in the past because the past doesn't exist anymore and we weren't there. We don't know why people made the decisions they made. We don't know why things turned out the way that they did for certain people. And it's really not our place to judge. If the entire idea behind living inside a body is to learn how to really, really, really embody love, then you don't get to judge why this feminine is so goddamn broken. She didn't do it to herself. Possibly uh, circumstances that she got into then eventually led her to some self-harm, like this, this devil energy, drugs, alcohol, whatever, this need for sex. But it's, it's not for this masculine or for anybody else, for that matter, to decide anything about them because of the state that they're in. The only decision left for anybody now is how do we help her? How do we love her? How do we easily and gently break down her walls so that to, to, to let me in? I want in. I want in not to hurt you, but to love you. And so what can I do? to get to a place where you will trust me. And I think it's just going to be re 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 um, repeated, repeated acts of trustworthiness. You know, you learn by repetition, right? Am I right? You learn the best by repetition. So um, that's all I have for you, Capricorn. That was kind of deep. For those um, of you who are, oh my goodness gracious, come here. We'll just let her make a little. This is Clementine, my pig. <laughs> She's been chewing on my feet the whole time. So Capricorns, um, I love you so much. And for those of you who are feeling, um, you know, broken or get a pig, get a pig. <laughs> I love you guys. Talk to you next month. Have a good one.